Chinese authorities have put history's largest quarantine in place to tackle a new coronavirus. More than half the nation faces some kind of travel restrictions. That number of people is equivalent to a tenth of the world's population. In the worst affected areas, 150 million people are largely confined to their homes. The state has poured huge resources into combating the outbreak, building two hospitals in just 10 days and mobilizing thousands of healthcare workers and equipment. We are required to deliver 6,000 respirators, but we managed to make it to 10,000. And instead of providing 60,000 surgical masks as required, we managed to provide 100,000 of them. The workers fighting on the front line are risking their lives in this battle against the virus. So it's our duty to ensure there is enough support materials for them. In spite of the unprecedented scale of the response, some say Beijing was too slow to share information. It took six weeks before critical data was given to the World Health Organization. China has published a paper with detailed data on more than 44,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19. This data give us a better understanding about the age range of people affected, uh, the severity of the disease and the mortality rate. As such, they're very important in enabling WHO to provide good evidence-based advice to countries. The WHO has classified the virus as a global health threat, not a world emergency. The vast majority of the 75,000 cases and 2,000 deaths are located in China, mostly in Hubei province, where the virus originated. Recent figures show a marginal decline in contraction rates, but the WHO has warned that the number of infections may not peak for another two months, leaving Chinese authorities with much still to do. The Pandora's box has opened, unleashing the disaster, fear and illness. But there could be one thing still left in the box. That's hope. As long as hope is there, we shall overcome the difficulty. Yet hope does little for economies, and China's is starting to suffer. The situation is placing extra pressure on Beijing, which has blamed regional officials for any shortcomings. But could China reasonably have tackled the coronavirus much better? And will its authoritarian style of government help or hurt it to halt the outbreak? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.